Hi, my name is Ben Brannigan and welcome to Creighton Honors Day 2013. I'm currently a senior studying psychology and biology and I'd like to explain to you my project that I did. Um, so my project's titled is Designing a Solar Powered iPhone Charger. Um, basically earlier um, in my educational experience at Creighton I did a physics lab where I was required to design my own solar powered light for a barn and I really got involved with this circuitry and the solar powered energy and I decided that I wanted to dedicate my honors project to the same, um, to the same experience. So uh, when I set out to do this project I was looking for, uh, I was looking to find ways to integrate uh, a technology that was available to us into our everyday lives and make it convenient, versatile, and serve a variety of functions. So here's my design backpack. Um, as you can see, a lot of the components of the design are very ver ver versatile and have a variety of functions. Uh, this is a solar cell I chose to use. It puts out 5.5 volts and uh, runs at 320 milliamps for current. Um, it clips off of here and it, can, it just needs to be exposed to sunlight. So if you want to leave it on the backpack and walk around, that's fine too. Um, it has a convenient U, uh, AV stereo jack and that's going to plug it directly into this charging circuit right here. Um, in the charging circuit you'll see I have three AA batteries at 1.5 volts each. Um, basically you can just store this in the pocket when you're walking around during the day and uh, it'll charge the batteries up in about three hours with good sunlight that's uh, dependent on the lighting conditions. So once the, uh, once the batteries are charged I have a charging circuit in here and its output is a USB jack here so any any uh, appliance that has similar power requirements to a cell phone, iPhone, uh, you can plug up into this, UA, this uh, USB jack and get a complete charge out of there. Um, for my iPhone, it charges in the same time a while it would take, about 45 minutes to get a full battery charge. Um, so going, going to my poster now, uh, in this project I learned a lot about the physics of uh, photovoltaic cells and how the electrons electron flow works in them. These are made of silicone. Um, there's a dope, they're doped with uh, phosphorus and boron for their P and N components and they come together and form a junction. When the, when the junction is struck by a photon, the, the electrons are excited and they migrate to the positive charge on the N character of the cells. Um, from there, that's when they get taken up into the uh, wiring. We have a blocking diode in there to ensure, to ensure no backflow. Um, then that's the three batteries we have. Uh, the batteries, as you can see, are in this container, and this container is putting the batteries in series so their voltages are added up together. Um, yeah, and then from there you got the charging circuit. Um, unfortunately, Apple products are very, very sensitive um, for proprietary reasons. So on the actual USB portion of the charging circuit, you have a D plus and D minus. And the amount of voltage going into each of those is regulated by a charging circuit and voltage regulator. Um, that's property of Apple, so we weren't able to make our own charging circuit, but all the construction and soldering and wiring was done by me and my mentor, Dr. Bruce. Um, in conclusion, I'm just trying to promote uh, using new technologies and green energy in our everyday lives and uh, preserving the planet by taking advantage of what's available to us. Thank you.